for as long as we do not unleash the women potential in Africa, the Africa we want or the Africa 2063 will never come. Because if you look at the fact that we have 1.1 billion people and more than 50% of those are female, and Africa is well endowed with natural resources, which is oil and gas and mining, and also agribusiness. And who has actually been toiling that the land is female? If you look at artisanal mining or miners, it's women. But actually, the face of poverty, whether it's in Africa or the world, it's, it's the female face. And therefore, for as long as we continue without actually unleashing that potential, it's a missed opportunity because it is an economy. At the female economy internationally, it's a 40 billion, which is twice the economy of the US. And in Africa alone, you're talking about $1.1 billion, which is over 1.4 trillion rands of potential and opportunity that it is going to be a missed opportunity. And for as long as we miss 1.4 trillion rands in Africa, we will never achieve what we want to achieve. The fact that 97% of what women make goes back into society, it goes back into school fees, goes back into medical care, goes back into uh, the building of our own communities. It's enough motivation for people to actually unleash the women's potential to change Africa and to change the world. One thing that we should do is to start looking at women as equal partners, as having the same potential, same skill sets, same opportunities, and they actually are very good managers, very, not only good managers, what they make, they are honest people, because out of a research of 350 organizations, research has shown that what women take from the banks, they actually 97 to 98% repayment rate. So if you invest in them, you will get your return on investment. I think I've gone through hell. It was necessary for me to go through hell for 18 years. And I will go through hell again if I have to, because it, it was no longer about me. It, it was about opening the floodgates for thousands of women, young and old, to actually claim their rightful place in society and into business. So we have started a number of initiatives in Africa as part of the Africa CEO Forum. It's a women in business. We have a regional structure for West Africa, a regional structure for East Africa, and a regional structure for SEDEC. So we are part of that. We are part of the internet structure to encourage other women in Africa to actually participate.